plans for today. Um, However, look at this! Sunshine! Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, sod's law the one day we don't actually have any major plans and the sun's out. Yes. Um, so we're going to be heading um, our way up there, um, stopping on the way. I want to go and see the Kelpies. Yes, um, um, we're definitely stopping there and we're going to see what else we can stop on the way. Maybe you want to do a bit of drone flying, don't you? Yes, I do, especially as the sun's out. So we'll see what happens! Kelpies where the lock is, there's eight little um, like beach huts. I'm not down so, the but this road. is literally there's the main road there. This is literally just off I the main road. The, I think that's the M9 motorway. And you can see the kelpies on the uh, the main road. cafe and a gift shop and they've got a smaller replicas of the structures out the front as well modeled by Sam so we're gonna go and have a look in the gift shop and we may have a piece of cake in the coffee shop we just had a lovely walk around the Kelpies yeah it was a nice little stop around the Kelpies it's actually really yeah. really nice place I can see this place is absolutely round in the summer because yeah, you could come and you can come and bring the yeah, dog, um, you can come bring a picnic. picnic. There's um, like nature trails and all sorts. All the walks yeah. down the canals. There's loads of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? Really is. Um, there's a little cafe, um, there's food outlets as well. Yeah, yeah, so very impressed. Made a few purchases as well. Well, we made a purchase and got a really pretty bag as well. So, so it's got the Kilpies the bag on it. The Kilpies. I don't know if you can see that. And we bought a little pin to commemorate. We did, as you know, we collect pins. We now yeah. have a Kilpies pin. Yeah. So we like to get a pin everywhere we go, don't yes, we? Yes, so can. we got one yesterday at the zoo as well. Panda. We've been for a little bit of a drive and we're coming up to what After they call the Wallace Monument. The um, we don't know what the charges are or anything, or if we can just go and have a look around it. Um, Simon doesn't know what he's doing with the, <laughs> with the radio. I've tried, tried to turn down <laughs> for the sat now. Yeah, it looks quite impressive, but I so think... So yes, this is, if you don't, Wallace as in William Wallace from Braveheart. We are going for a drive up into the hills. So bearing in mind, this road says not suitable for coaches, caravans, or is it motorhomes? Mm -hmm. So we'll see what it's like. So Simon's like, yeah, let's go up there. Let's, it. let's go and see. There's a very pretty little church on the side. Mm. Although what on earth happens when you uh, meet someone along the way? I'm turning pots. Oh yeah. Well, not turning spots, but passing spots. Passing spots. <laughs> it's 
worth a go in it. Yeah. Presumably it'll just end. Don't know. Oh wow, look. Oh wow. Old church type yeah. thing. Yeah. What's left of it? Mm. Little belt on the yeah. top, look. It's me. <laughs> I want to go play it first. <laughs> oh, wow. wow, look at all the bluebells in there. Beautiful. Karen and David's and uh, there's a place called Tim Hortons which I think rivals our Krispy Kremes and yeah they went and got donuts <laughs> so they've got these things called Timbits so which are donut holes donut which uh, David just polished off like no tomorrow <laughs> they are tasty <laughs> there was a second box <laughs> uh, but these are the uh, piece de resistance I don't and know. I think Karen thinks she's feeding the 5,000. <laughs> Scottish Krispy Kreme. Well, they're a Canadian. Oh, are they? Oh, are they? Oh, wow. They look really good. So what good. flavours have we got in here, then? So that is maple... Um... Thing? Cruller. Cruller. <laughs> uh, that is maple glaze. Mm. That's the chocolate-filled. Mm. That is the the uh, apple and cinnamon one. Oh, oh. I like that. Um, that's just a chocolate ring. That's a... Plain glazed. Wow. They and that really I good. think has got um custard in the middle of it. Oh, okay. Might be maple. Might be taking Oh, are these time. different? I'm not oh, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, these are okay. the same. There, so that's the, the apple cinnamon Look. one. Oh, nice. Might be taking some of these home. Yeah. Looking forward to oh, that's why we bought these. so many. <laughs> We have had an absolutely lovely afternoon it has evening. It's been a lovely afternoon. Really, really has. Yes. So thank you to Karen and David for hosting us this evening and yes. for feeding us. Lovely to meet you guys too as well. So. And we've come away with a stash of Tim Horton, don't we? We have. <laughs> I have to say, Tim Hortons are very, very good. Very okay. And very tasty, very tasty. Is it the Tim Bites or whatever they were? Oh, Tim Yeah. Tim Bits or Tim, Tim Bites. Bites. Oh, they're good. Good. So good. If you're in this area or you have one near you, buy some. Yes, I recommend Tim Hortons. <laughs> Uh, so that's it for us tonight. We're back in it the room. Is. It is 10 o'clock. We're absolutely shattered because we didn't have a good night's sleep last night. The beds weren't great in the primary room we were in last no, night. No, at all. Wasn't. So hopefully tonight's bed it seems a lot bit better. Yes, it does seem a bit better. Um, I'm just going to chill out for a bit now. I'm going to go through some of the drone footage I got earlier. I'm going to get into bed and go to sleep because I'm pooped. <laughs> and tomorrow is our travel home day. Yeah, I can't believe our four days is over and done with already. Um, we got a few stops on the way though, yes. didn't we? So that's good. So we will say goodnight and catch up with you in the morning. See you tomorrow, goodnight, guys. guys. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's travel day. It is travel day home. home. Sometimes. Um, it's gone really quick, hasn't it? It has. Um, and we've actually still got our full day planned as well. Yeah, we? So we have. We've got um, well, most importantly, we're about to go for an all-you-can-eat breakfast. Yeah, that is important. <laughs> um, then we've got the fog cook wheel. 
Falkirk yep. Wheel? Falkirk, Falkirk Wheel. Something, however you pronounce it. Yep. And then we're going to take a slow drive home via the Lake District and hopefully you're going to get yes. some phone footage, aren't you? So the route home will take us... About six hours. Uh, ...into Glasgow, down the M6 to the edge of the Lake District, where we've never been before, so we're hoping to stop off for half an hour or so so I can fly some drone for a bit. Chill out and give us a break from driving as well. Yep. Then it's a four-hour drive home from there yep. to Peterborough. Yeah. So first breakfast. I thought I'd show you how close the uh, beef eater is. So literally just coming out of a door and oh look, there it is. Literally right next door. <laughs> it's been very handy having these next door, isn't it? Because yeah. they had the brewer fair next to the other one that we. But they're um, actually quite a bit round here as well. So across the road, yeah. Has to everything as well. It's got farm foods over there behind us. Greggs of Domino's, yeah. Burger King. So we're going in here for breakfast. So we've paid for um, the breakfast, we paid for it yesterday with um, Premier Inn, I think it was £17 something for the two of us, um, but it's an all you can eat, unlimited cooked. Um, continental, obviously, it's separate, so, it's, so the full English is um, £8.99. Which, in, which includes? Oh, it includes everything from the continental as well. Everything from the continental as well. So that's good, and unlimited drinks as well, so... Not bad at all. Kids eat free if you bring your kids. So not bad at all. So we are starting off with cornflakes and pancakes and look at this little cute milk bottle. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, the cute milk bottle and they've just bought out some pastries as well. So basically because it's COVID, um, they are bringing everything to the table but it's all you can eat so you just ask them to bring a selection of everything. Um, I've gone for cereal to begin with, Simon's so gone with pancakes, we've got some pastries and then we've both got a full lingerish. But I presume if you want more after that, then let's have some as well. So we're going to dig into this lot. The pieces of resistance has just arrived, so I have scrambled eggs, hash brown, mushrooms, bacon, beans, sausage, tomato. And Simon has sausage, hash browns, egg and bacon. Because obviously you know what he's like, he doesn't like the beans or anything, but it looks amazing. So dig in. This is our mode of transport for the Falkirk wheel. So we're about to get on and take a seat. Okay. Uh, no problem, thank you very much. Unfortunately with the rain, you're not probably able to see much, but we go into here and it swings us all around up to the top. And then we go and go off onto the uh, canal for a bit.
So this is a different angle of where we came up. So we went up there in a wheel, went all the way along there, through the tunnel which is up the end there, and through into the canal, and then back again. It's really, really good. So we really enjoyed the Falkirk wheel. We did, it was really, really good. Just something completely different, wasn't it? Yes. And to watch it do like the 360 as well. It's really quite clever as well, yeah, isn't it? Really yeah. clever. Um, it's really cool how once you get up the top as well, they built the aqueduct. To so take it along, yes. Yeah, aqueduct to yeah. take it along. Take it along and it joins then joins the canal, yeah. Yeah, really so good. you take the water with you as well, so it seals it off both ends. Yeah, the engineer. You take on the water with you. Yeah, really, really cool. Such a cool idea. Um, We've decided to make a pit stop. So now we thought we'd drive to Gretna Green, somewhere yes. we've never been to. No, it's on the way past as well. Yeah, so. it's about an hour and a half from the Falkirk Wheel. So we're going to drive down there and just have a wander around. Pop in and see what it's all about. So looking at it, that's pretty much it. It's yeah. a lot, lot smaller than we thought. So there's obviously the wedding bit that you can get married in. Which is the other side where there's, there's actually a wedding going There's a blacksmith on. and there's a food hall. So uh, yeah, it's a lot smaller than we thought. So we're going to see what's here. So Gretna Green. Family's been part of this historic since 1886. She's got the history and the romance. <laughs> the the runaway wedding was like in 1754. Gosh. Here. Food, clothing, and fashion. There's actually an outlet over the road. Gifts and souvenirs. There's a maze, isn't there, as well? Yeah. So there's a fair bit more here than we realised. No, it's more like a, like a pit stop kind of place. Yeah. There's a blacksmith shop over there. We there's a in. couple of gift shops, but they've all got yeah. pretty much the same thing, sort of like tartan and shortbread and stuff yeah no, so um, it's a, there's somewhere to eat if i think the main reason people come here is for getting married isn't it yeah of course it is i think this is as you say it's more of a like a pit stop type thing yeah if you're driving past yeah. of, which is basically what we've done isn't yeah. it yeah so we've come into the little food hall for something to eat and i've got yeah. a cornish pasty chips and peas i've just gone for sausage, sausage and chips and we've also got some homemade um feedies whilst to go with them we are now back in the car and we are officially now back in England. Yeah, we are. Um, we've just gone over the border in uh, from Gretna. We are now at the very beginning of the M6. Yep. We are currently heading home. Um, Three hours 18. Yes, we're currently at the moment 29 miles outside Penrith, which is the start of the Lake District. So depending on weather, when we get down there in about half an hour, um, we might make a little pit stop for some drone footage. Um, but I say break that, it up a bit. Yeah, more, just to break it up yeah. a bit as well. And then we'll probably put another stop in there about an hour or so outside of home. Yeah. Because obviously we want to break it up. And we stuff. need weeds. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, we Gretna. Um, I wasn't really wasn't sure, sure what, what to expect. No, I didn't know what to expect, but I, expected, I don't know if I expected to Yeah, I don't know. Um, it was know. nice seeing it all. Yeah. We, can, we can now say we've been there. But yeah, I wasn't really sure what to expect. There was an older couple getting married as well. There so was, yes. Yeah. So we took two weddings, didn't we? Yes. Two? Only one. There's one woman pulled up as well. I think they're the same one. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, a bit but, bumpy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it's, I don't know. I just, I don't know if I expected yeah, something a bit more. I don't more. know. I don't know. I don't know either. Having um, never been, you did not know. We were a bit disappointed though. Um, we were looking forward to seeing some Highland cows. But there were none. There were none. So, yes. Um, we have to come back to Scotland again to see the Highland cows. We are currently travelling through the Pennines. The scenery is really, really good. Really that side, better this side. It's better this side. But, but it's raining again. It is raining, so there ain't no drone flying. And it's very windy as well, isn't it? In here, you see a bit out there, so it's a lot better out that side than it is this side. But yeah, raining again. And just like that, we're home. We left Scotland this morning about 10 o'clock. Yeah, we went to the Falkirk Wheel. Um, and then drove Gretna Green. Gretna Green and drove home from there. Um, yeah. We I say we were going to stop somewhere else on the way home, but it did rain all the way home. It was very windy. windy all the way home. Yes, so was. unfortunately, couldn't get the drone out. No, um, I did get a bit of drone footage, which you would have seen. It's been a fantastic five days, hasn't it? Has, hasn't it? Really has good, really nice to get away. The rain I thought, has. I think we needed it as well. The rain has scuppered our plans quite a bit, which obviously you'll see in the coming weeks with our vlogs. But yeah. we still made the best of it, didn't we? Yes, we really had a good time. No, as I say, I think we needed it as well, didn't we? Yeah, it was lovely to see everybody that we got to see. Yes, so and... nice to see Matt. Matt Natalie, and Natalie, Sean, Sean and Caroline, Karen and David. And of course, Karen and David, yes. It's lovely to see you all catch up. So it's not often we go that way that we can it's actually, not. especially Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> so we hope you've enjoyed following along with our little trip yes. away. And again, thank you for everybody that's followed along on stories, on Instagram, 
and Facebook. And has uh, commented and reacted with us. Yes, and interacted Much appreciated. Yes. It really is. It is. So we will sign off for this mini trip and catch you on the next one. See you later, Bye. guys. Bye.